The conversation in the electric vehicle world today is centered on a smaller Tesla model that many people call the Model 2, even though Tesla has not officially given it that name. A lot of online rumors have suggested that this car could arrive at an unbelievably low price, even as little as under $10,000. At Torque Element with 2,000 subscribers we want to take a clear and realistic look at what Tesla is actually working on, what the likely costs will be, and what parts of the rumors are simply exaggerated. When we put the hype aside and study Tesla's actual path, the picture becomes far more interesting than the wild guesses floating around. Tesla's mission from the very beginning has been to create an affordable electric vehicle that millions of people could drive. Elon Musk explained the plan in the company's early days, start with expensive high-performance cars, then use the money to develop a medium-priced car, and finally to create an affordable mass-market car. Tesla did that first step with the Roadster and the Model S. Then the Model 3 arrived as the medium step, bringing prices down but still not reaching true mass affordability. Even today the lowest price for a Model 3 in the United States is about $35,000 and in other parts of the world it can be much higher because of taxes, shipping, and import costs. For people in places like India, South America, or Africa, these prices are far beyond what an average family can afford. That is why this smaller, cheaper Tesla is so critical. Without it, Tesla cannot reach the scale needed to truly accelerate the transition to sustainable energy, which has always been Elon Musk's stated goal. To make such a car possible, Tesla has to lower production costs in ways that traditional car makers never tried. The biggest step toward that is jiggycasting. In a normal car factory, the body of a vehicle is made by welding together hundreds of stamped metal parts. This requires thousands of robots and long production lines, and it takes a lot of time and money. Tesla changed that with jiggycasting, where massive casting machines make whole sections of the car frame in one solid piece. The Model Y already uses this system with a front casting and a rear casting. The next generation compact Tesla is expected to go even further, possibly casting almost the entire underbody in one single piece. This would mean fewer parts, less welding, faster production, and a lower cost per car. Battery technology is another key factor. For years, the most expensive part of an electric vehicle has been the battery pack. Tesla is working on its new 4680 cells, which are larger and more efficient than older designs. Once produced at scale, these cells will cut costs significantly. Tesla has also shifted many of its vehicles to lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries. These batteries are cheaper, more durable, and safer though they have less range than nickel-based cells. For a small, affordable city car, this trade-off makes perfect sense. A range of 200 miles is plenty for daily use, and LFP batteries allow Tesla to cut thousands of dollars from the final price. The design of the compact Tesla is still under wraps. Tesla showed a silhouette of two next-generation models during an investor presentation, but they were covered with sheets. One looked like a small hatchback and the other resembled a van. Many believe the affordable Tesla will be a hatchback-style car something similar in size to a Volkswagen Golf or a Toyota Corolla. These types of cars are very popular in Europe and Asia, where roads are narrow and city parking is tight. In the United States, bigger vehicles like SUVs are more common, but Tesla knows the global market is much larger than just America. If Tesla wants to reach millions of sales per year, it has to build a car that appeals worldwide. Production location matters too. Tesla has already announced a new gigafactory in Monterrey, Mexico. Elon Musk said this plant will focus on the next-generation platform, which strongly suggests it will build the smaller Tesla. Mexico offers lower labor costs than the United States, as well as good access to both North and South American markets. Shipping is much cheaper compared to producing cars in China and then exporting them. At the same time, Tesla's Shanghai factory remains one of the most efficient in the world, and China is the largest car market overall, so Tesla may also produce the affordable model there. Over time, Tesla might add production in Berlin or elsewhere, depending on demand. To sell millions of cars, one or two factories will not be enough. Despite these real developments, the internet has been full of exaggerated claims. Some videos say the small Tesla will cost $9,000, or come with futuristic technology like self-healing paint, 
tires that change grip automatically, or even built-in drones. These things sound exciting but they are not what Tesla is really doing. Tesla's real innovations are quieter but more powerful. Simplifying factory operations, cutting battery costs, improving energy efficiency, and expanding its charging network. These are not as flashy as science fiction claims, but they are what truly move the industry forward. Timing is another big question. Some analysts say the new model could start production as soon as late 2024. Others believe it will take until 2025 or later. Tesla has often been late with timelines. The Cybertruck was revealed in 2019 but first delivered only in late 2023. The semi-truck was shown in 2017 but deliveries began five years later. The second-generation Roadster was announced long ago but has yet to reach customers. So while Elon Musk may aim for a certain date, delays are always possible. Building a completely new vehicle on a brand new platform in a new factory is a huge challenge. Tesla also faces heavy competition. Chinese automaker BYD has already passed Tesla in total sales of electric vehicles. BYD Seagull model sells for around $11,000 in China and has been extremely popular, with tens of thousands sold every month. European companies like Volkswagen are preparing affordable models like the ID2, which should cost about €25,000. Renault is bringing back its classic Renault 5 as a small EV. Hyundai and Kia are developing new compact EVs. Even Toyota, which was slow to embrace electric cars, has announced plans for smaller EVs. If Tesla does not compete in this price segment, it risks being left behind in many regions. Elon Musk has also spoken about autonomy. He has said that the smaller Tesla will be designed from the start to one day serve as a robotaxi. Even if full self-driving is not ready yet, the hardware could be included in the car so that software updates later unlock more features. Tesla's long-term vision is to have millions of these affordable cars on the road, with many of them eventually providing ride-sharing services. This is still years away but it shows that Tesla is thinking about more than just selling cars, it wants to change transportation as a whole. Price remains the biggest question. Can Tesla actually sell this car for under $10,000? The short answer is no. Battery packs alone currently cost more than that. Even with big improvements, the materials and labor needed to build a safe, reliable EV cannot reach such a low number yet. A far more realistic price is between $19,000 and $25,000. This is not as dramatic as the rumors, but it is still a huge achievement. Gasoline-powered cars at this price are very common. If Tesla can sell an electric vehicle at that same level with strong software, reliable charging, and good performance, it will be a game-changer. At Torque Element with 2,000 subscribers we know it is easy to get excited about the wild claims on social media, but even without the exaggerations the truth is still amazing. Tesla's combination of gigacasting, new battery technology, global factories, and simplified design could make this one of the most significant cars in modern history. Tesla already changed the auto industry once with the Model S, showing that electric cars could be luxurious and fast. Then the Model 3 proved that EVs could reach a broader market. The Model Y went further, becoming not only Tesla's best-seller but the best-selling vehicle in the entire world by 2023. The Cybertruck has drawn mixed opinions but demonstrates Tesla's willingness to take risks and challenge traditions. Now the affordable Tesla, whatever its final name, may be the company's most important project yet. If Tesla succeeds, millions of new drivers will go electric for the first time. Charging stations will expand even more quickly. Gasoline demand will shrink. Other automakers will be forced to respond with their own cheaper EVs. Governments will find it easier to push forward with clean transportation policies. And ordinary families will finally have a real choice. A practical, affordable electric car with all the benefits Tesla offers. So while a $9,000 Tesla remains only a fantasy, a reliable Tesla in the $20,000 range is both realistic and revolutionary. That alone has the power to transform the car market. The key is not in science fiction features but in real innovations. Casting machines that lower costs, battery packs that last longer, factories that are more efficient, and software that keeps improving over time. Tesla is preparing for what may be its most important step yet. When the smaller Tesla arrives, 
it will not just be another car, it will represent the moment when electric vehicles truly become mainstream for the whole world. And that will be the real achievement worth paying attention to.